Hello. Are you the one sent by Mara? What? How, how did you? Y yes. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Samo out since he's been very helpful helping us get all our enchanting needs taken care of. Is coming. Yellow mountain flower. See? The death was meaningful. I'm sure I heard something. Alright, quiet everybody. Is someone there? Dead. Tell me, back up, back up, people. All right, Zayed, I don't know how stealthy we're going to be with this big glowing fire astronaut, but let's come on up here. like alchemical transmutation to turn a body into a useful ingredient or at least to let it produce a useful ingredient all right is this everybody somehow I'm not thinking it is There's a sky shot over here, too. Oh, there's someone in there. Ah! A briar heart. And someone over here. You're good as dead. True enough with this poison bow. Look out, look out. All right, we'll take the brow heart.
Staff of Mana Daedra. Oh, this is expensive. Summons a clan fear. Note from a Forsworn. The matriarch grows weary of your hesitation. Our people control the entire eastern slope of the Reach, all save Sun God. Take it, and the invaders will be cut off from all retreat. But we must move now, while it, its defenses are still weak. Summon the tribes, do what you must. But if you do not act, she shall find someone who will. Hmm, got a war going on here. Why don't I take this, this helmet? Oh, I thought it... Oh, it's the axe that's so valuable. Alright, we'll take that then. Alrighty. keep forgetting that I can transmute these bodies. There we go. Spiky grass. Alright, come on, let's keep looking for this item that Calcimo has sent us here for. Hopefully it'll put him in a more pleasant mood. I know I'm bothering him when I come with my enchanting because he's got a lot of work to do and I appreciate, you know, how he will make time for me. So I need to do the same. All right, let's go. this standard potion of resist magic it's not going to be necessary now, I see you sitting over there <laughs>
potion. And add some more poison. We'll do damage magicka regen. Since it's a hag raven. found a fate card. These cards are grouped into decks of 13 cards of the same type. When you possess at least one of each card all the top of all the top and use any of the cards from that set in your inventory. One of each card of that set will combine to form a deck which will provide special powers, skills, and abilities while it's carried in your inventory. never known for that to work for anybody <laughs> but anyway people I've talked to have never been able to collect all the cards what is this frostbite hmm. take that alright I think Calcimo's ring is behind that door But we got a couple of places we need to search before we go in there. Ebonet Armor of Deathlessness. Take 12% less damage from attacks when your health. I'm not sure if I know that enchantment, but I'll, I'll take that. Hmm, scroll of Gravisphere. I'll take that. Steel Armor. Oh, is this a, a coin purse? See, nobody's wearing heavy armor and you're with the, your clothes. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, sultry nice. All right. Show them no mercy. You know, it... it it took a long time, a lot of explorers, to figure out how to open that door up there. And the trick is this pressure plate. Let's see. Open. I thought you had to keep something on the plate, but I tripped it, so it's good enough. A lot of people have said they put dead bodies on the plate, but whatever, whatever works. Oh, a skill book. Enchanting, of all things. And what have we got back here? Soul gems. Nightshade, Canis Root. Take the bone meal. Here 
it is, Calcimo's gold garnet ring. Oh, look at this, an ebony scoped bow. Scroll of God form. Divine energy replenishes up to 15 points of magic per second when health is above 50%. The higher your health, the faster it replenishes. I'll probably just sell that though. How much is this? Eh, it's not worth it. All right, gentlemen. I think we got what we came for. Oh. This is another way up. Oh, it's okay, it's empty. It's another way out. into me. So, yeah, Z Zayad, Zayid. These are the types of things, ingredients that we need to pick. And I'll probably be sending you out to collect some of these things. I'll give you a list. Blister Ward, White Cap. Fly, Amanita. Let's go. Okay, it's a new day. Let's get back to Calcimo and give him his ring. What is it, nephew? Can't you see I'm trying to think here? I just wanted to know if you needed anything. Um, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Are you sure? Stop bothering me, I can't. <laughs> um, speaking of bothering, I, have things to study. I know. What is it? I know. I'm trying to get on your good side, sir. So, let's see here. I have your gold garnet ring. You've done well. All right. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Okay, let me split this with my followers. They appreciate it. Thanks. And I hope you're in a better mood, Calselmo. I'm sorry that I keep bothering you. I bid you safe travels. Oh, I, th I think it changed his disposition already. But you know, I'm I'm a a traveler and a a hunter, and I need your help. You're one of the best enchanters in Skyrim. I have to come all the way to Markov to get a decent enchantment on an item. It's a shame. It's like, what does that say about the mages and stuff in my area? I'm not sure. All right, well that takes care of Calcimo for now. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, there you are, good morning. How are you? Hello again. <laughs> I'm sorry to just barge in, but I found this note on Ulag's body. Did you? So Ulag didn't make it past those giants then? No. More's the pity. If you found any of the sap, I'd be willing to pay you the same cut I offered him. Better price than you were likely to find otherwise. Alright, well I do happen to have some of the sap that I found on his body. Ah, of course. How much have you got? You can have it all. Very good. Be sure to bring any more sleeping tree sap you find to me. Alright, will do. Um, yes, I will share this with my followers. Thank you. Farewell. All right, y'all are welcome. Come on, let's go. All right, Zaid, as much as I like having your company, I really need you back at the, the shop. 
A few seconds I mean, I, I'm, I can't have it closed because we're out adventuring. Um, somebody has to be there to make sure that the potions get distributed to the customers. There's some people, you know, that have some conditions that need to be um, monitored and checked. All right, so let's head back to Riverwood. Hmm, I haven't prayed for a while. Let me go inside and do that. All right, excuse me for a moment. Zenithar. May my skills increase, my body grow strong, and my enemies fall. And what have we got here today? In your expensive overpriced market. I mean, these are some nice enchantments, though. Well, one of them, anyway. But that, that's... I'm sure I can find this enchantment on another item that costs much less. All right. Thank you, Xenathar. Now, I want to meditate and grow stronger. All right, we're going to go with stamina today. What? I've got six. Wow, oh, okay. Well, now that I'm not concentrating on alchemy anymore. Let's see what else we got here. Under speech, can sell any type of item to any kind of merchant. Yes. Can invest 500 gold with a shopkeeper to increase the available gold by 500 permanently. I think that's one of the edicts of uh, Zenithar to invest in shopkeepers. So we'll do that. I'm not concerned about speaking with animals and uh, I'm not really familiar with shouts. Oh, here we go. Eloquent. Intimidation and persuasion attempts are mo more likely to succeed. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna need to get some more training. Was something in alteration telekinetic force well, I can learn telekinesis it's not really what I'm looking for though my weapon attacks improve your spell cast on the target by 15% oh really alright I'll do that And what I'm looking for here is raw power. I need uh, some more. Since my poison spells are non-elemental. But let me go ahead and get dual casting. So I can throw my poison with both hands. Oh no, do we need illusion? What is this? Oh, yes, we do. So I can cast things silently. Calm spells. Uh, I'm not using those. All right, so, um, quiet casting. I'm like one point away from that. Wow. Alright, well, I'm out of uh, perks. 
So we're You've done. done well. Thank you, I feel like I have. All right. Zod. What can I do for you, friend? It's time for us to part ways. You need to stay here. I'm heading home if you need me. You are home. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, we have some customers lined up for today. And you'll find their orders in the ledger over there, so... Please take care of them. And you can go ahead. Oh, that reminds me. I think I got some new recipes. And you can go ahead and start working with these recipes and orders. And we can do some follow-up training at some point. Here we go. Drought of Vitality. No, this is something that I never knew I could read these recipes and learn the properties of my ingredients. That's why it's important for me to buy every recipe or pick up every recipe that I come across. Okay, Zayad, good luck. I know you can handle it. You are an accomplished mage. I, I've seen you in battle. <clears throat> so I have every confidence in you. All right, Omar. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into and people we can help. Only 20 septums each. I think that's Ingen, and I still don't have all of those uh, Nern roots yet. Looking to stay alive? It is so hard to find them all. All right, the Temple of Mara. Cord into Grandpa's journal. I need the blessing of Mara to give me more magic resistance, especially if I'm going to adventure these lands. But I know someone who can get. Hello, sir. Briel, is it? I'm Ezekiel. Which of the eight divines do you serve? This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's you blessing, with child, you should speak with Daniel Balu or Mara. It couldn't happen. See, right. Mara has shown them their mistake. And to think I was wandering the ash wastes only two years ago. I never knew my path would lead to you. You were guided here. You were always meant to be here. That's the way of things. Then I thank Lady Morrow with all my heart. For you, for our child, and for our love. Oh, this is very touching. Ex excuse me, Lady ma Morrow bids you welcome to her benevolence. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dinya. I'm Ezekiel. And which of the eight divines do you serve? We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Hmm. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. May I receive her blessings? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Yes, just tell me what, what to do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, Almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, where, where's the red god man? Hello, sir. I'm 
pleased to hear your news that your wife is pregnant. Blessings of Mara upon you. You too. I wanted to know more about the Temple of Mara, and you said your name is Mara Mall. That's interesting. You must have changed it when you became a priest. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. All right, so I could have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? No, not really. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. All right. Do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. All right. Five gold, then. I would actually like to donate more. It's a shame. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Can you tell me about Mara's beliefs? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. All right, I'll buy an amulet of Mara. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Mara bless you. Thank you. You too. May you return to her benevolence and safety. She out here working it in the dark? Oh my goodness. Hello? Are you the one sent by Mara? What? How did you... Y yes How did you know I was coming? I prayed to Mara and she spoke to me in a dream. She said a stranger would appear to help me. Is that you? It, it is me. What's troubling you? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. And I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. You sound a little bit confused. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. All right. Oh, look. Are you the father? Hello. My daughter's driving me crazy. <laughs> so forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. It's all right. Your daughter asked me to speak to you. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for a clinic. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Why do you want her to stay so badly? Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? You think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. <laughs> and like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push and this would all be simpler. All right, then. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. Oh. I don't understand why you're not taking your own advice, then. It's 
plenty of places you could live. All right, so we need to talk to someone else. Faster. Would be the mother. What is it? Hello, please don't call the guards. How are you? You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Well, there is another reason. It's Mara's reason. And your daughter has asked me to speak to you. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had her problems. Oh. I don't tell my husband. But I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastra to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. What would inspire them to leave? Marcianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Alright. Can I harvest some crops for you? Of course. Thank you. Come on. I know you wanted to hunt bandits. Omar, but... Sometimes we have to do other things that are just as important. Alright, um... There's somebody down here. Let me put my lantern on. Run out of torches. On your way up the seven thousand steps to again, Klimic? What is Not it today. I'm just not oh, ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Well, that stops now. That's fine. Um, excuse me. On your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Um, no, I'm not passing through. Actually, I'm here to see you. Klimek, is it? I'm Ezekiel. I hear you lost, Fastrid. Oh, Fastrid. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. Mm -hmm. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. Well, she probably appreciates an assertive man. What did you call me? I mean that you should be bold. Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? Of course. What do you have to lose? Izmir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. No running. Oh my god. Wow. Omar. I know. Master, Come I on. Have something to say to you. Wait. Lemic? What is it? Where I are don't they? want you to leave Iverstead. Uh -oh. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Clemic. We've done it. We've done the work of Mara. All right, let's go back to Dinya. Dinya. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I've helped the young lovers in Avastead. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Does Mara requ require more of me? I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. 
Count some Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. All right, my good buddy Calcimo. Huh. <coughs> He's getting a lot of help from us today. Next season, then. Next season for sure. Next season for sure? What? Uncle Calcimo, <coughs> I don't understand what you mean. The excavation I counter. Right after I finish my book, we'll start excavating the Shuanzel again. Could I maybe hello, skip friend? the excavation? Oh, hello. Uh, it, wow, hasn't your you disposition changed? Um, well, let me make it even better. I'd like to make an investment in your business. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. I think I will, too. Let's see what you can do with 500 gold. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Okay, and I've been sent by Mara to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite Feline. a bit. Feline? You know Feline? Yes. Yes, I do. Then you know what a beauty she is. Yes. The trouble it's is a red that God I can't woman. seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. You're probably just overthinking this. That may be the case, but she is as volatile as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. Hmm. Is there anyone who knows what she lacks? There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. All right. Please, for all the help and all the enchantments that you've done for me, consider it done. Come on, let's go. Oh, what a waste. What's this? A de oh, this is the vampire. They have they haven't cleaned that up yet. Better this one from the than last me. time ah, I was here. Who did this? <laughs> Kenneth, preserve us. Ingvar, outsiders. <laughs> um, I've been sent oh, by Mara, what and I've heard that you might know what Filene lacks. What? Why? Are you interested? It's not for me. It's for Calcelmo. Calcelmo? Is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. Both As for what she might like. I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. <laughs> There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? <laughs> oh, you are so full of yourself. But yes, I'll buy it. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. Thank you. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. <laughs> yeah, that's probably wise. All right, I really appreciate your help. <laughs> As does Mara. Okay, I, I see you're ready to swing that sword, but this is important too. It doesn't matter if they're in the city. We fight them where they live, we won't have to fight them here. They live here too, my yard. That's what I'm saying. As his house, Carl, oh. Igman's security is my chief concern. Um, I'm over here, but that's all right. You just stand at attention. I want you, I want to talk to you about Calcimo. Calcimo? What about him? You know what? Every time I try to pronounce his name, somebody pronounces it a different way. I give up. He has feelings for you. 
we should imprison the What? <laughs> You're out of your mind. That old no. coot's more interested in dead dwarves than anybody around here. Don't talk the such rot. Family are to be left alone. Am I clear? It's true. Yes, he told me. Please, stop wasting my time. You're embarrassing yourself. Uh-oh. This didn't work. Let me try this again. Igman's father was killed by Forsworn. I won't rest until they've paid with their blood. I have a poem I'd like you to read. Pardon me? It's from Calcimo. Please. I'm not sure what this is all about. Here. This is lovely. Calcelmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. He cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I uh -oh. wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. How, how did you write that letter so quickly? All right. I'll, I'll take it to him right away. Come on. I think she had, she, she must have suspected something to have a letter already written. Calcimo. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Well, your disposition has certainly changed. I have a letter from Feline. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Yes, I Please, have. Please, excuse me. And Mara. Safe travels to you. You too. Oh, hey, there's no running in here. Faline, I... Shh. It's all right. You don't need to say any more. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. Oh. Wipe those tears out your eyes, Omar. Let's go. Denya. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I've helped the forlorn lovers in Markarth. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Another amulet of Mara. All right. Thank you. May you carry the warmth of Mara to all corners of the frozen wastes. All right, so the amulet will make my restoration spells cost less and healing spells cure more 50 percent all right then i will see you later all right here we are A ghost. But you know what? I just gotta pick some of these plants. Hello. What are you doing? I'm searching for my Fenric. He was marching with you, cause men who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over every body, though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. <coughs> the 
The last battle here was hundreds of years ago. Ah, oh, you a fool! What? Look at the bodies around you. Even I don't if you're see blind, any bodies. surely you can smell the blood. No, there's nothing here. Come, help me search for Fenrir. He must be here somewhere. All right, well, if you say so. All right, let's get on our horses. Look, another ghost. see a bright red beard on this ghost. Hello. Your wife is looking for you. Rookie? Where is she? West, in the plains over the mountain. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it, though. Why don't you like camping here? Our fires are visible for miles. We're in a low valley. Sitting ducks. Let me take you to Rookie. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. But he's gone. See? Can I tell you to get off this horse? Is that an amulet of Mara? Uh oh. I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. All right. Take it easy. Mm hmm. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back to Rookie. And I'm sorry you didn't get off the horse. Fenrir, you're alive. Of course I am. What brings you here? I had heard that Gukar's men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle isn't expected until tomorrow. What's going on here? Rookie? What's going on? Yeah. I am so confused. It must be Mara. What's happening? It doesn't matter. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be forever. What? <gasps> what you... What's going on, Rookie? It's, it didn't work. Mara didn't take them. Fenrir, you're alive. Of course I am. What brings you here? I had heard that Gukar's men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle isn't expected until tomorrow. Rookie? What's going on? I am so confused. What's happening? All right, I don't want to watch it. I know. We're together now. And we will be forever. I don't want to look at them. Oh, thank goodness they went. Mara took them this time. Oh. And look at you. I told you to get off the horse. All right, it's time to get back to Denya. Denya? Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I help the long dead followers find each other. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. <laughs> Carry the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Thank you. 
Take care of yourself. You too. Huh. No sign of Omar. All it right. It fills me with joy to hear you're with child, Dinya. They said it wouldn't, that it couldn't happen. But Mara has shown them their mistake. Let me go ahead and look at, uh... All right, here it is. Here's the magic resistance that I get from the um, alteration tree, 20%. And then from Mara, magic resistance by 15. So 35% magic resistance. And to think I was it's wandering the nothing. ash wastes only two years ago. Okay, well, it's I time my path to move to on to the stuff that Omar here. likes. You were always meant to be here. Helping people. That's the way Stopping of Stopping bandits. Then I thank Lady Morrow with all my heart.